Hello, I'm Super 3 Boy, and welcome to WildPHP.com's Lesson 2 Hello World with Echo. Uh, in the previous tutorial, I gave you two sites to go to. Um, one was the exam uh, website where you could download a program to run your PHP files, another was Award Space, uh, which you could go to, create an account, and also run your uh, PHP files there. Uh, you're gonna have to look up how to uh, get your particular files uh, for each one for XAMPP. Uh, it's pretty simple. You find the htdocs folder uh, in the installation. You stick your files in there and then we can access them and run them from there. Uh, or award space you will have to go to and log in and upload your files uh, so that we'll, they will run and work. Uh, so what we need to do to begin this tutorial is create a simple file uh, called index.php and I'll do this in a second uh, and save it uh, in the main, main folder of your PHP ho hosting uh, htdocs for exam and like I said you'll have to uh, figure it out and upload it with a word space um, now the index.php file uh, always displays uh, first, so if you load um, that particular uh, directory, um, index.php is going to run. And so, since we're only using uh, just very simple examples for these uh, series of tutorials, we're probably only going to need uh, that index.php uh, instead of a bunch of files, and we'll just uh, edit that uh, to our needs. So, basically, to uh, start. I'm going to load up uh, my text editor here. I'm just using Notepad++. A great little text editor with syntax highlighting if uh, you want uh, to check that out. You can always go to Google and just uh, Google uh, Notepad++. So we have to start um, with a PHP scripting block, uh, which is basically what we put our code into. Um, and this is what it looks like. Um, and our code, our PHP code, goes right here. And so that'll display properly in the browser. Uh, let's add some HTML um, tags here at the top. Like I said, you need to have a little HTML experience uh, for this to go well for you. If not, just copy along. So we have our HTML tags here and then we have our PHP scripting block. So let's actually uh, make sure everything's running and working um, by doing a simple statement to print hello world uh, on the, this page. So what we need to do is use a kind of function like echo um, ECHO and then I uh, use uh, some double quotations here uh, and in between that type hello world and then we have to end this PHP uh, line of code with a semicolon and then I'll just save it as you can see here um, this is just a file index.php uh, in the htdocs folder of the exam uh, server right here. And so all we have to do is open up your web browser, whether it be Internet Explorer, Firefox, uh, Safari, Chrome, and type in localhost. That's all you have to type in. I'll type it in for you. That's all you have to type in. You don't need this HTTP stuff. And then just hit enter. And you should see uh, just one thing on the screen, uh, hello world. So congrats, you've uh, wrote your first PHP file and run your first PHP file. So, as you can see, it's pretty simple. Uh, if we look back down at our code, uh, nine lines, uh, including spacing, and in order to get, we got a simple statement to print out. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Um, there's much more PHP stuff coming, um, so just 
check out wildphp.com. Uh, we have plenty of uh, video tutorials. As you can see, we're only on our second tutorial of many more to go. Um, so we also have scripts uh, and other things for the more advanced uh, PHP users. So I hope to see you guys in the next tutorial on comments on code. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Super3Boy signing out.